everyone, welcome back to NFTV. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, hello. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are all doing very well. I'm joined by Harry tonight. Harry, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Yeah, looking forward to uh, getting into these kits. Yeah, we're going to have a good look at these kits. We're going to have a really good look at the training kit, the goalkeeper one. Uh, the one that's not really talked about a little bit is probably the training kit. That's the dark one as well. We'll take a look at that. And uh, we'll also go through the pricing of them because they are a little bit pricey. I'm not going to lie. And, of course, you have been uh, giving us your feedback in across all of our socials. So we've got some screenshots of what you have all been saying. And uh, we'll also have a look at um, a bit of three retro at the end. Why not? So we shall get the ball rolling. But before we begin, get your comments coming in. We are very, very proud to be sponsored by Manscaped. The Euros are all about bragging rights and showing pride for your country squad. With the help of today's sponsor, Manscaped, you'll definitely be showing pride in your squad. With Manscaped, you can now trim your personal pitch without the fear of whacking your bollocks. Unlock that confidence and join the movement with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with NFTV at manscaped.com. Now, if you're like me, you'll never, ever buy cheap razors again. Once you've cut yourself down there, you will never, ever go back and buy those cheap razors. You do not want to be embarrassed having cuts left, right and centre when your missus looks down there. Manscaped is changing the way men approach grooming with their perfect package 3.0. This men's bundle includes the lawnmower 3.0, weed whacker, performance boxer briefs, a travel kit and formulations to help you upgrade your grooming game. The lawnmower 3.0 is the John Terry of dong defense because the third generation trimmer features a cutting edge cimeratic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to its advanced skin safe technology. There's even waterproof technology and an LED light so you can groom in the shower. We all know how terrible that cleanup can be. If you've ever been held back from nose hairs before, we have the perfect solution for you. The Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. This trimmer has the same manscaped skin safe technology which helps re reduce nicks, snags and tugs in your nose holes. 79% of women polled admitted that long nose hair is a major turn off for men. Imagine if your significant other started growing some nasty nose hairs. Pretty sure you wouldn't be too keen either. Don't forget that this bundle comes with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, an anti chafing ball deodorant and moisturiser, and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, a toner for your testicles that's infused with aloe vera. Now you're going to be wanting to join a ball sack beauty contest after using the Crop Reviver. Check out their website for some cool products, including their fragrance and the Foot Duster Foot Deodorant, which is what you need after your stinky football bag. Get 20% off and free shipping with your order with our code NFTV at the final checkout at manscaped.com. Support the show and the legends at Manscaped who are looking out for the general safety of your bollocks. 20% off and free shipping with our code NFTV at manscaped.com. That is 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com using our code NFTV, it is time you add a few inches to your Harry Kane with Manscaped. Huh? Huh? See? Manscaped, nice clean shaven. Look at that. Look at that. No comments about this. I like me strip. I like me strip. <laughs> uh, yeah, Manscaped very proudly sponsor us, and they've got something new coming as well, which we'll talk about in, an, in a, a couple of weeks or maybe or so. But welcome, everybody, if you're just tuning in to our live stream. We're going to talk about the kit now. Uh, of course, the first one, Harry, let's get it on screen. Let's get down to it. First initial thoughts, go. Um, I quite like it. It's it's It reminds me of the one a couple of seasons ago. Um, I quite like the colour, to be fair. Um, it's a little bit samey, but it's, it's, you know, it's black and white, isn't it? Literally black and white. What do you make, because I've seen it everywhere, the number four? That d doesn't bother me. I, d I, d I don't really understand why that's being mentioned. So, I mean, obviously, it's easy to point out, um, but I, I don't really get it. It doesn't bother me. Now, for people who don't know what, I'm, what I mean, if you haven't seen it, have a look again at the shirts, right? And look at just above Fun 88. 
what's popping out of you now. You can see it now, can't you? You can see the number four. I don't like that now I've seen it. I kind of keep my eyes off it. Now I can just say four. Obviously, there's a little bit of jokes going around saying Sutherland have been in League One for four seasons and what have you. But, you know, you can see the memes, Harry, if we get walloped 4-0 at uh, Old Trafford, for example, that's going to come back and haunt us on social media, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, to be fair, I don't know. I, d- I don't really get that. If it's intentional or not, it's just a bit weird. But it doesn't, doesn't really bother me. I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't get that bit. I like. I like the collar. Um, mm. I like the collar how it looks, and it reminds me. Obviously, they've mentioned this uh, going back to the ninety five, ninety six, the entertainers, the old collar look. I, I get that, but it, the position of it, it's just a, a little bit weird. I don't know. Because the more I see that number four, the more it stands out. Yeah. Um, it's thicker. It's thicker, black and white. The lines are thicker. Funny eight. Are you a fan of funny eight? Are you? You're not too keen on them. No, 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 not 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 um not a huge fan, to be honest. Not a huge fan. Yeah. And obviously on the back of that shirt, that's gonna be red numbers. Are you happy with red on the back? No, is it what what is the back? Is it is it white or black? So uh well we'll have a look in a moment, but the, the mm. printing is gonna be red. So if you put your name and number yeah. on the back, it's gonna be red. I don't mind that could it stand out a little bit for me, so you can see your, the the name and number. But the back, which will come on in a moment. Have you not seen the back leg? No, I haven't. No. Oh, this will be interesting then for you. Um, um, the the back is open a little bit. I don't know if I've got right. a picture, actually. I don't think I have. I think the, the back is open with the number across. A bit like, do you remember the... Um, it's not, not not like the Champions League kit. No, the Champions mm. League had like a, like a, a badge symbol on the back. Right. Open, you can see that it's a bit like that, but you don't have the badge there. If that makes sense, hard, hard to describe it. It's very hard. Yeah, uh, I can't see the four help. Uh, Kieran, look above phone 88. You can see a black four between the like around the collar strip. The collar strip's a gap. Yeah, it looks like a number four. The more you see it, yeah. And uh, Kenny's obviously got um, these shirts already from China, apparently. Uh, so so well done. Um, Steve doesn't see the four. Steve, I just want to say also as well, uh, thank you very much for your kind donation of nearly $20. Uh, that's fantastic. I mean, you're, you're donating to the channel left, right and centre, which is fantastic. And that money is going towards hopefully uh, a base from we, when we all meet up, uh, a professional studio. So there's a little exclusive for you who are watching. Um, but obviously with the, the sponsorship of fo- uh, uh, Fun88, it looks like it's, a, it's another year. The shirt is as sexy as you, Lee. Absolutely banging. Thank you very much, Joshua. Um, are you happy with fun in eight? Not, not really, to be honest. Um, it's it's a bit. Yeah. Packy. Yeah. You've got yeah. you've got fun in eight on now, haven't you? Stand up. I do. I do. I. It just. I know. It's, I know that that's last year, but it's just a bit. I like. Uh, it it doesn't bother me too much, but as well, it's um. It's the gambling thing as well, so they can't even they can't sell the kids' tops with it on. Uh, I think. And the kids' so tops like, look better because you don't see the number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, and obviously you don't see it. Funny eight or wonga. Uh right, Ollie. Mm. Better f- f- funny eight. I'm doing funny eight, yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Uh the most sexiest shorts in the Premier League. Uh, and Steve's gone at the sale of the shirt. The only thing I'd change is to make the fun it black, not blue. I've seen a copy of that, an edit of that. Um, actually think I would agree. Black looks better on it. Um, let's move on. We'll come back to it. Obviously, we've got some um, feedback off you already, but um, I'm just going to stick the thumbnail back on screen because I see Callum Wilson, Martin Dubravka, Ellen Packham, and you've got ASM. I'll come to the goalkeeper top because this is the one that I've got on screen first. Mm-hmm. We're, we're speculating, is it a goalkeeper top? Obviously, we know now, but a couple of days ago, it was like, oh, God, is that the away top? But are you happier that's more Dubravka's top now? Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't mind that. Um, it's similar to recent purple kits, the recent keeper kits, sorry, purple. I think the stripes are a bit weird. but They're very retro, aren't they? Yeah. But like, like on the whole, it's a keeper kit. I don't mind it, and I never buy keeper kits, so it doesn't. It's not going to affect me personally. Um, it's all right. Nothing special. 
Yeah, they haven't bought a goalkeeper top since the Shaka Hislop when I was a Ben. So the Shaka Hislop Pavel ones back in the mid nineties. But yeah, uh, Dubravka has always donned in like green, luminous uh, orange. Mm-hmm. We've seen orange before. Blue is another one as well, and now it's kind of be purple. We've seen them in purple as well. But yeah. <sighs> Yeah, put it this way. I don't think I'm going to be buying it as well. Let's see what he's saying as well. Steve's gone out and said it's goalkeeper is very strange. It's unique. Um, I can't say I've seen anything like it before. Uh, Ollie's gone out and said, thank Christ, it's not the away top. Still don't really like it, though. Um, mo- the most sexiest Premier League shirt ever, says Luke. Um, <laughs> that one, no, I don't agree on that. Nothing wrong with funny eight, whinge, whinge, whinge. No, I think it's... <sighs> I prefer it to be a different colour. I just think blue stands out and looks a bit more tackier for me. Um, Steve says I'm still looking for a shack at his lock. You can get them on um, get them on eBay, but they're really, really expensive. They go for daft amounts. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I've just seen a funny comment. I'm not going to read that out because it's discriminating against somebody else. Right. Um, let's have a look at now the, the training because I actually like the training shirt and I do really like the training jacket as well. Um, what do you, what's your what's your initial thoughts first, Harry? I I love that personally. To be honest, that one on screen is beautiful. Um, the fade and the strip through the middle, and I like the blue. It it just kind of seems to stand out. I really like that. It looks like an away top. I wouldn't mind that being our away top next this season. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been been like, talking the wall last day, and I'm like saying, do you know what? I might get the training tops this year, and not not any of the um, the home kits or anything, unless well, unless we'll see what away top comes out. But I'm really really keen on the training top. I, I really like it, me. Really like it. it's proper high for me. And if I had like, you know, if I can get a, a manual print on the back somewhere else of uh, mm. the name and back of the training top, I'd probably do that. I really really like that. I really like the design. It's very very high um, for me. If you give that a rating, how would you rate that out of ten? That's a, it's probably a nine out of ten, to be honest. I, I like, I really, really like that. And obviously, um, when you talk about buying it, which we'll come on to, obviously, um, the prices would be a lot better, I imagine, than the even the away kits as well. Yeah, we are going to come on to the price and all that. And we'll, uh, it's not, it's not great, is it? Um, keep your comments coming because we'll, we'll keep reading them through. Steve's um, very uh, lively in the chat there. What do you make of um, the training jump, uh, jump ass slash jacket? Is that the the quarter zip or? Yeah, I'll put it on there. There you go. Uh, yeah, no, I really like that. Yeah, I really like that as well. Um, Don't like the personnel wearing it, mind. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get rid of a lot of them and keep Lejeune. But um, no, nah, I am um, I'm a big fan of that as well. To be fair, I think the training gear is all really good. To be honest, I, I like, I like the color color scheme, and I just like yeah. the look of it. I like that as well. Um, you know what it is? I might get the shirt and the actual jumper slash jacket because it looks like it's a, like a like a thin hoodie. Um, like a stick on the hood on the back. You could also do that, couldn't you? I mm. like it, mate. I really, really like the training kits. Um, you know, I don't really talk positive about Newcastle's kits the last few years. The only one I have was a few years ago when we, we made that um, the 96 remake, the way top. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't bought a home shirt since the first time that we came up, and I got that from Start Fitness. But, yeah, top marks for the training kits. I'm big, big um, fan of the blue ones. I'm not so keen, though. Have you seen, like, the dark grey almost turned black, the other version of it. Steve Bruce has been pictured in it. We're not putting Bruce on because he doesn't do it any justice, but I've got the two cup of the physios here. I'll take no notice of Jacob Murphy. Have a look at the two me- medical team on the right-hand side. I'm not as keen on that mind. Yeah, no, I can say the same. It's not, it's just not as nice really, to be honest. Um, I don't mind it as the base layer. I'm just looking through them on my phone. And the jacket's quite nice in that colour, but like the training tops, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of. No, I'm not a fan of them. Like you see the difference there, Jacob Murphy's blue one compared to the other one. Mm. Massive, massive difference for me. Really massive difference. Let's go back to the comments. We actually got some bit of feedback on all of the social media today as well, which we'll run through in a second. Then we'll jump over to what Castori, what they do, who they also sponsor as well, because I've learned something new today as well. Um, Puma training gear was better. Was it, Harry? No. 
not, right. not not by the looks of things. I just I just prefer the design to be honest. I've I've never been wowed by um, training kits, but I, that um, that the blue stuff is a big wow for me. I, I really like it. Really, really big fan of it. Mm. Sam's going to say the quarter zip is lovely. It's a bit too pricey for my liking as well. I think Sam said earlier on he's waiting for it later on the season to go down. I'll say six out of ten for the training kit. 38 quid for a pair of sh- uh, shorts as Robin. Yeah, we're going to come on to price in the moment because, yeah, we've seen the, um, just, you can get two socks for, what was it, 18 quid or something for t- a couple of pairs, so- 12 quid or something. Something like that. So we'll come on to in a moment. The sponsor, I think it was. How oh, much no, was it? Yeah, 12, 12 quid, sorry, 12 quid oh, for the two socks. Yeah, that's way over the, pr- the pricing of it. The sponsor actually works well on the training kit. It doesn't stand out as much. Ollie goes on to say it as well. Um, Steve's gone to say the orange one's one of my favourite colours, though, so explains why I like it so much. Uh, yeah, Steve, go and get it if you want. I know you're a big, big fan of all the shirts. You, you, you hang them all up. Adrian's got to say, I love the goalkeeper uh, uh, kit. I think you're probably in the minority, Adrian, but if you like it, um, are you going to put the money down? We'll come to that in a minute. We'll come to that. We'll, we'll got, we went on to our... Um, YouTube community, we're going to go through some of the feedbacks. I asked us all across the socials early on today. Give us some feedback, what you generally feel about it. We'll, we'll read it out and we'll, we'll Harry, me and Harry will discuss it. Mar- Marty's gone out and says, sponsor ruins it. All I can say is a big black number four above it now. Designed without thinking about it as the sponsorless kits, the kids' kits look much better. We've already echoed that. We've just literally said the kids. Harry's just said the kids look more, much more better. I totally agree. Uh, Robin San Pedro's gone out and say Castori could have done a lot better with the home kit. The granddad collar just doesn't go well with the placement of the black stripe. It makes someone wearing it look like they've got a priest of some sort. And the sponsor just adds to the downside of things with the big number four stuck in my head every time I look at the home kit. 65 quid is too much for a kit designed poorly. Again, we've mentioned that number four seems to pop out a little bit. JB's gone on to say, I only really like the training kits. They are decent, but won't live long in the memory. I don't like the home kit. The collar just doesn't do it for me. It's horrible, and I prefer the kit to have more stripes. The goalkeeper kit is disgusting. It's one of the worst, if not the worst, Newcastle kit ever. That's how low I rate the goalkeeper top. And that's not a talk about the price. Yet again, Cashley charged ridiculous amounts for these disgraceful kits. I'm very disappointed and I hope for better next year from Castori. Doesn't seem very uh, positive there, does he, Harry? No, no. I didn't think the kit was that bad, mine, that the keeper kit. I don't like the keeper kit. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I'm not a fan of it whatsoever. Not a big fan. We'll move on across, um, carry on YouTube, then we'll move into Instagram comments as well. Um, we've got one obviously saying I like the new kits, but I think they're a bit uh, tight fit for people who are extra large like me. I think they go up to quite a big size now. Oh, I should have seen that to XL, X, X, XL. Um, so they, they are doing bigger sizes for the bigger blokes that are out there. Uh, Paddy's going on to say it looks cheap. Not a fan of the thicker stripes either. Was hoping for much better. Some of the Puma kits were nicer and hated all but one of their kits. Uh, do, do you like do you like to see Harry more black stripes on that? Um, yeah, I prefer it when there's more stripes rather than the thicker stripes. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Move on to Instagram comments. Steve uh, uh, Witten one's gone on to say what with the four as well. Another one who spotted the four, well thought out by the designer. Laughing face. Dave Rim dot nine. I hope we play her and not Joe Litton as he's referring to Ellen Packen who's in the thumbnail. Um, lazy 100 non absolutely hideous he's not a big fan of it either and HJ Manon's gone and said I like the collar on the home kit it just doesn't look right on the goalkeeper kit and they've copied the stripes of 1920 season vile so hmm, not not great uh, positive uh, feedback on the kits it seems to be again echoing what we're saying the training kits look much nicer Paul's gone and say uh, this is going on to Facebook now awesome love the changes Literally 100% better. So these are a bit more positive, Mark. Uh, Justin's gone out and say, nice, shame the logo spoils it. So Facebook seems to be getting a bit more positive on there. And then we had one of the Twitter replies earlier on uh, from Newcastle. Matt shirts, uh, no problem with the grander collar, but the white stripe making it look like a four is awful. Spoil a really nice shirt. If it was the same colour as the stripe, it would look spot on. He's good. The, the number four seems to be getting a lot of negativity, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of get why, because you don't want to, you don't want something like that on the shirt. But at the same time, I just does it really make a difference? But I, I do get why people are complaining at the same time. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Steve's gone. I've been staring at the show for the past five minutes. I still can't see it. Steve, have you got your glasses on? Have you got your glasses on? Stick them on, mate, and then have a look. You'll see it. And then Adrian's gone out and say, you'll see it eventually. Yeah. Uh, Connor, who's our favourite Scotsman. Um, hope you win tomorrow, Connor. Uh, I hope the home kit <laughs> feels similar to the one from two years ago with the collar, but I like it. But I but I like the goalkeeper and the way better. The all decent, I think, 60 quid for a lot is, for a top is more though. To, uh, for a top though, is a lot, sorry. It's 65 actually. Um, and Adrian's gone out and say, I'm a big, uh, strong fan. Big, I can't even speak now. I'm a fan of strong Colours on a goalkeeper top. Studies have uh, actually found that strong colours kind of distract opposition players. Um, Steve's gone on so wait before if I stay at the f- above above look above. The oh, he, he said he's seen it. All oh, right, you've seen it right because I'm trying to speed through. Uh, Daz goes on to say um, who was on uh, Loaded HQ. I was on there last night, so make sure you have a look. Um, hi lads, uh, you're still not a fan of the kids league. Let's see what the way in the third kit bring. I'm a fan of the training kits. Does massive fan. Um, obviously, Steve's gone on to say, I've gone on to say it, yeah. And JB says, I don't see the four. Uh, look where the collar is, JB. Uh, does a shirt sponsor have to be on the front? Why can't it be on the back uh, under jersey number? That happens abroad, doesn't it? A uh, Bundes- lot of Bundesliga. Where's Connor getting a fiver discount? <laughs> uh, now you won't unsay it, Steve. So thank you for your comments. Right, what we'll do is we shall get the share screen facility up again. Uh, please keep your comments coming. What we're going to do first is we'll get out the pricing in a second. But a lot of people don't really know too much about who actually Castor are. Uh, ooh, can I change this around? Oh, I've knocked Harry off. There he is. Shall we go with that one? Yeah, we'll stick to that one. Um, right. What do you know much about them, Harry before we get into it? Well, um, I, I, to be honest, my, my brother's a big fan of them. Um, he buys all of a lot of their stuff because he's a big. He's a fan of Andy Murray. Um, so he bought a lot of their gear, and he he really likes it. He he loves because he he plays um, cricket and he goes running in it and stuff. So he he finds it really comfortable to play sport in. Um, and obviously, I heard earlier on the year about the deals with uh, Rangers and Wolves as well. Yeah. Um, but mm-hmm. that's that's about it. Yeah, if you're liking the video so far, please smash the like button. And as ever, uh, keep your comments coming as well. And uh, our YouTube members have received four exclusive videos so far in July. If you want to see your little promo video, what it's all about, the membership, uh, have a look at the join button underneath. Right, let's get on with it. Let's have a little look at um, Castor um, a little bit more in depth uh, for you. So obviously, the, the, we know about the tune, so we know all about that. But um, partnership with Team Bahrain, victorious. Uh, if I go further down as well, um, Saracens, did you know the sponsor them? Not a clue. Well, you do now, because <laughs> Saracens are back in the Premiership, so the sponsor Saracens. Uh, they've also supplied David Lloyd clubs as well. Uh, the Wolves, uh, we know about Wolves. Obviously, their they're new uh, Castore uh, sponsor is the same as Newcastle. However, I don't agree with us price. How are we more expensive, Harry, than Wolves in terms of gear, training gear? Um. I don't know, to be honest. I haven't a clue. Maybe they think they've done nice training gear um, and they just think it looks better. So it's, oh. I don't know. Oh, do you think it's a case that they know that we've got a, and this is no disrespectful, so any Wolves fans, please, I'm not, that we've got a bigger fan base, that more money will be pumped in? Potentially, potentially. But you would think that if they did that, they'd make it cheaper so then more people would buy it. No, mad, isn't it? And obviously mm. they're in the uh, Tour de France as well, uh, with with Trek Segafredo, if I've said that right, parties and bike. I look at them watch bikes. Uh, McLaren is the big one. Uh, obviously, there's uh, Lando Norris, um, who was absolutely flying in Formula One. Uh, not so Daniel Ricciardo, who isn't very good. Uh, Team Ferrari all the way. So up the Reds, up the Reds. Um, but yeah, it's and obviously you can say Cross here. Yeah, they also sponsor the West Indies up here. Rangers, we know about McLaren's obviously the big one in EMC. So. The fairly new, the two lads from Liverpool, uh, obviously the the big stores down in London, um, of just off Chelsea. So um, hopefully you never know the, the two lads might come on the channel. We we'll, won't we'll approach them, so why not? We'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, there's some big big names there. So the company recently founded. We know about Andy Murray, as you've just literally said, as well. So yeah, if you want more, if you want to see more on Castor, get on their website. Let's get on the, get on their website. Right then, we're gonna have to start um, start talking prices. Sixty five quid, Harry. 
ridiculous. <laughs> But uh, yeah, especially with all the complaints about the design um, and everything, and the four, uh, that yeah, it's it's stupid. But it happens every year, doesn't it? It happens every year. It's ridiculous from the start. It's why people don't buy it straight away anymore. Absolutely crackers, isn't it? Mm. Right then, okie dokie. Thing. So I've, I've still got the Blim and Cast story on there. Right, let's share the let's share the screen. Let's get on to um, some pricing. Um, because it is absolutely ridiculous, some of these prices of the of the kits. Uh, have I switched it right? Okie dokie. Then. So um, let's go through. So as you can see, Ellen Packham, who plays for NUFC Women, and you've got Callum Wilson in the middle, and of course you've got ESM over on the right. Uh, we'll look at the home. For people who can't see the four, surely that's popping out now for you. Surely that's popping out. Because I've got to say it. Sam says it's coming home. What's coming home? The strip? Or England. Um, and Ollie's gone out to say the Rangers home clip looks class. So hopefully the other two kits are a little bit nicer. Keep your comments coming. Right, let's uh, go into this. Let's try and, because there is a Zoom section where you can do here. Where is it? Right, let's go into it. So people who are now watching, can you see a number four? Can you see a number four? Is it now screaming out at you? It's a black four. Surely you can see it now, what we're talking about. Um, what do you make of the the badge? Because it looks like it's actually stitched on, embroidered. Yeah. Is, that, is that the right terminology? Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, I like yeah, I, I quite like it. Yeah, um, as long as it's the same as our badge. Are you on about which badge you on about? Our badge. Well, the cast or, Yeah, as long as they're both done the same way, then that's fine by me. I I wouldn't like one stitched on and one stuck on. So if they're both. Well, yeah. That looks stitched on. Mm. That looks that looks like it's embroidered. That looks stitched on for me. Yeah. And then obviously in the collar you've got black and white army on the on the yeah. back. Yeah. Um. This uh this looks like it's it's just a sticker. Yeah. Well, it always is, isn't it? Always is. So I mean, if you wash it a few times, the chances are that this potentially might wash off and fade. Yeah. So if you are going to get this shirt, I'd probably recommend putting that in in a plastic bag or something or cover it. And, of course, down here you've got uh, the black and white going across. I like that. I do like that. Um, I'm not keen on the colour of that. If I change colour of that, I might like this kit a bit more. And then, as, of course, as we go down, uh, it will allow me to go down. It should do. There we go. Right, you asked about the back. Sorry. So there we go. Yeah. Right. The back. So it's just pretty much the same as the front. So well, I was trying to explain it was a bit open, a bit yeah. like the, um, the Champions League badge, badge back in the day when it's a lot more open back. So mm -hmm. there's less less stripes on the back, which is probably better for the name because obviously you can see where the NUFC is and then yeah. the name could have gone probably just inside the black and white stripes. Yeah. And, I, they'll, be, and they'll be red. Mm, I know it's, it's a minor detail, but I'm not a fan of that blue stripe. What, what this one? Yeah. Going all the way along. Why can that not be white? For me, mm -hmm. interesting. Um, I think it Doesn't looks like odd. It. Does not like it. Um, we'll come on to the price in a moment. Let me just click on that. There you go. That's got a. That looks like it's been stitched on. Mm. For me, I mean, I'm totally wrong. I, I might be wrong. I haven't, I haven't got the shirt. I know I've seen a few people on Twitter today with it, but that looks like it's been like a stitch on. Hmm. But sixty-five quid, sixty-five quid for that man. Is it worth sixty-five quid? Definitely not. And there's obviously the front and the back of it. No. And then further down, you've obviously got what Castoria are all about: pro performance wear, engineered for athlete, elite athletes. Of course, the sizes people are asking it does go up. Actually, I'm wrong. Look how big it goes up. So five times extra large. So for people who are um, on the bigger side, it goes up to quite a big size. But that is the home shirt. Right. Let's take a look at Martin Dubravka and his goalkeeper top. Do you like the fun 88 how it's black though? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind that. But having looked at it closer, I just, I, I, I'm starting to agree. I don't like that. I really don't like that kit. It's, it's the... It's these stripes, isn't it? I mean, look yeah. at that. That looks like you want to spin a lollipop or something. Yeah. And you don't often see diagonally striped kits, do you? Very it's, rare. Yeah. Extremely rare. 
Um, this I would probably want to say. I know. I don't know we're nit- nitty picking here. Um, I would like to say probably that white. Mm, yeah. So so it's black and white on the stripes. Again with um, the the collar. I don't mind the collar as such. Um, if the color and the and these stripes, I'm just not keen on them stripes. Yeah, no, neither, neither. Of course, there's the brave cart wearing it as well. I'm just not keen on it. The back of it, um, you'll be able to see the name and number perfectly well. That'll stand out. Not sure what the color may be. It's probably going to be black. I would imagine. Um. Yeah, it would make sense. And then again, you've got the Newcastle badge there. That looks again, looks like it's stitch. Again, I could be wrong on that. And then black and white. Again, what do you make of a goalkeeper top being 65 quid, the same as the home? Oh, that's it's it's steep, isn't it? It's especially when less people are gonna buy that. Because let's be realistic here, unless you're a keeper who's buying the top, it it, it looks horrible as well. I it's, it's steep again. It is. The shorts, 38 quid for a pair of shorts. Mental. Like The shorts, the shorts I don't mind too much with the colour and it. I don't mind that as mm. much. It's, it's just, that's that's mental as well. You'd be lucky if people were buying them at, what, 25, 20 quid. 40 quid. For a pair of Blimey. The, the socks. Um, do you like them? They're fine. They're fine. Just, just standard, aren't they? But sixteen quid for a pair of socks. Yeah. Flipping heck. Not great as well. Um, obviously, if you've got any ladies in your life, uh, or you're a lady watching yourself, of course, Newcastle do have a dedicated women's section, of course, as well. As I said earlier on, there's Ellen Packant, who is uh, sporting, uh, who was the star this year, who was um, sporting the Newcastle kits um, as well. We'll have a little look at the training co- um, a little bit more. Um, for the pricing of this, it's nice, but look at that. So the training, the training zip, Harry, is more expensive than the home shirt. Yeah, that's that's baffling, actually. Um, although I would personally, if they were priced the same, I would personally prefer to buy that than the home shirt. Um, I think so. I, 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 I mean, I love quarter zips, but that looks really nice for me. But it, again, it is too expensive, I have to say. It's really expensive. It's nice. I really like it. I like the design of it, but it's just pricey of it. I mean, if I just zoom out, that's what it looks like for a little bit further out with ASM wearing it. I really like it because you could wear that um, as like a, as Americans will say, like sweater. Sorry, Steve. Um, long sleeve. You could probably wear that in the winter and get away with it. Mm. Uh, it's nice. I really like it, but extortion, the pricing of it. But it's beautiful. I really like it. And then obviously you've got the back here, which you've got Castore on the back here. And then going up, if I just scroll up, that's what the back looks like. Which again, I don't I don't mind. I like it. I really yeah. like it. And then again, if we have a look at the badge a little bit more, it's been stitched that's on, isn't it? Is, is that a sticker? It looks like a sticker, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's. I would imagine it's been stitched on. I mean, I'd be a bit worried if it's been ironed on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is the uh, the home one. Let's just click back a little bit. Um, the t-shirt is cheaper. It's forty eight pound for the t-shirt. Again, I like it. It's nice. It's beautiful. The, look, we all know that the prices, Harry, are going to come down eventually because it's just the launch. Everything is expensive at launch, and the prices will come down. So if you are going to get it, maybe if you. Um, maybe get a little bit late, a few months time when the season's already underway. But this looks like again just being ironed on, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just don't, I don't get how it is so expensive. Like, like it, it doesn't look like. Although it's very nice, how does it take that much effort to make that to cost forty eight quid? Like, mental. for a new comp- for a fairly new company. Mm. Manufacturer, um, Callum Wilson, there he is, sporting it. I like it, like I say, but I'm tempted to get it. Um, but again, it's the price. I mean, if I get if I get, it's, it's mad because, like, if I get a t shirt, Harry, and then if I get the, the zip, that's like 110, 120 quid already. Yeah, that's 
yeah, 70 quid, 50 quid, yeah, 120 quid. And then you've got to play for shipping. Yeah, because you've got to, like, you've got free delivery on orders over 150 quid. So if you don't live at the moment, if you don't live in around the city of Newcastle, you're going to have to pay for delivery, unless you obviously wait until the likes of other outlets, which will eventually get it, of course. Uh, you're talking like your your star fitness and you know your JDs of this world and what have you and Amazon and all of that and eBay and what have you. But um, yeah, I, like I say, I like the I like the training. I do, but it's very very pricey. It really really is. So we have a look. They, 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 that's your one about the socks. Yeah, twelve quid for a pair of socks. Well, you get two, but I mean, yeah, crazy. That's the that's the jacket version of it, and the jacket version. 75 quid. I d- yeah, I don't get that because I'd rather have the quarter zip for me. Yeah. yeah. Same. Um, more expensive. So they've got obviously the fun 880 here underneath the Newcastle badge. So that's a bit of a difference. Obviously, got it opens up. Um, so we've got the gone with the, like, the light blue on that. And if we take a look at the badge again. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder if they have gone with stickers on the training stuff. Oh. Definitely looks more like it. Yeah. Oh, it's worrying. Sorry, Steve. This is the sweatshirt I was on about. Got them mixed up before. But um, this is the jumper, as we would say, back over in England. Um, 60 quid for a jumper. Again, I'm with Harry. I probably prefer the zip over it. It's nice, but I've just got, I prefer the t shirt and the zip than the jumper. So again, you could probably get away with the zip and the jumper in uh, when it turns to late October and the the bad weather starts to kick in. Um, but they are pricey, aren't they? But like I say, the the will come down. Um, this is what we were talking about earlier on. We're not so keen on this one. Um, do you like this in the comments? Again, we're going to read your comments out. I know we're looking at the shirts, but we'll look at the comments again. That looks like it's been that that, oh. that badge in red is horrible. It's horror. This 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 color is minging. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. Yeah, and the, the, like that's that's baffling. That that I know it's personal preference and all, but to charge them both at the same price when there's a clear better one, it's just weird. Like obviously, I get why they do it, but it, it is, doesn't it? The no more you think, no one's going to buy that. The more you think about it, the more you think, bloody hell, that's a sticker. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're speculating that it's not. I mean, we're hoping that it's stitched on, but the more the, now that Harry's put that in my mind, I'm thinking, is that a sticker? Can it be? But again, 48 quid. The shorts, 35 quid. I really like them shorts, to be fair. You like them? I, yeah, I do like them. Um, Yeah, I, I like them, but 35 quid, man. 35 quid. And then, of course, we've got the, the the other training jacket, which is, again, 75 quid. And they've obviously got the front 88 underneath the badge once again. I'm just not, this orange, I'm just not keen on it. See, that that's better than the shirt, but it's it's not as good as the blue. No, any, any other blue. Mm. Of course, again, if you're a lady or you've got um, a woman in your life, it goes up to size 18 um, for the women's uh, version of the kits um, and also jackets and sweaters and... Uh, what have you as well um, the shorts I like as I say we, we like the, the zip um, you can also get the bench look at that 95 quid Ooh. for a women's training bench Ooh. so I'd imagine this is what the, the coach and staff will obviously this is the women's don't get me wrong but I would imagine this is what like Bruce and mm. everybody all the Steves at the club are going to be wearing in winter 95 quid, 100 quid. Blow it out. At, at the first time I've seen that. Um, and these yeah. are the junior ones. Look, look, we were talking about the junior ones. Look at them. They look nice without, um, the, especially the, the, the dark grey ones. Mm. About the sponsor. Um, and then obviously you got junior training pa- pants and what have you. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pros and cons to them, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's yeah. why that's probably why there's been such a well. It's not been a massively mixed reaction, but it's been fairly mixed. Hmm. So he's got to say, uh, Blake, can you do a side by side comparison with Rangers in Newcastle's orange and grey? Well, not right now because um, I'm live, but uh, I can mock it up for you, Steve, if you want. 
Um, let's read some of your comments out before we um, start to uh, wrap up towards the end. But thank you again, Steve, for your donation. And the Newcastle badge is stuck on. If you click click the badge in the options, ah, interesting, interesting. Um, Ollie, who Ollie, who's your underwear? Um, swap, swap, swap. what is going on, Kenny? What have I just clicked on there? Uh, swap the orange color with gold, and I think that would look mint. And obviously, the same question by Steve as well. I uh, don't like that one. I think he's because obviously we're going backwards on these comments. I think he means the orange. I find it funny how people who make concept uh, shirts and post them on Twitter looks better than the actual ones when it gets released by the companies. <laughs> Um, the home kits is pure rubbish. We need to change the company next season. Get a Geordie firm to make it, not the Scousers, says Daz. Um, it seems Sports Direct selling them is cheaper. Uh, as, as I start showing these um, commentary, what do you make mm -hmm. of the shop? No longer Sports Direct shop. If you go in, you're going to get receipt of Castori. Um, I suppose I'm happy with that. Let's... And he's happy with that. He's gone. <laughs> I think he must have got a message on social media or something. Um, Steve's gone, what the fuck? No one says Swagger Lee. Uh, Kenny's got it to say that only knocked a tenner off the old Wonga shirts uh, last season. He's back. He's sorry, back. sorry. That's all right. You're going to get a message on your phone or something. Yeah, all right. Um... Short 40 quid and have no pockets. Do you... Do you... Ah, there we go. JB's finally found the number four. <laughs> <laughs> Only found four. Um, never understand why football shirts are expensive. There shouldn't be any more than 50 quid. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, the price is atrocious for, for shorts, especially since I have to pay for the shipment from the UK. No way in hell am I spending $70 for shorts. Crack, hasn't it? Mad. Uh, sorry, go on, Harry. Um, do you think now that will attract more people into the actual store now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was going to say, um, as I was cutting off, um, that's definitely a, a positive for me that it's not going directly to Mike Ashley anymore. Um, and hopefully, you would think, the more money they get, because obviously if they're a new firm, the more money they get, the better the kits are going to be um, in the future. Because it's obviously, although some people having seen it might want it to be a one-season thing, it definitely won't be. Um, six years now? Is it six years? Yeah, I, I was just going to look that up, but um, yeah, probably. I, I to be honest, I don't know, but um, yeah, hopefully it will attract more people to get it because it's not sports direct, and they'll benefit because of it. Yeah, look, the club will obviously still take a cut, and people might say, "Well, you're still funding Ashley, but at least you're not funding them directly through sports direct at that shop." Um, the Castoria obviously planning to open up more and more shops, another one in the city centre as well. And then they're planning to go bigger and better. So they're, they've got the ambitious and they want to use Newcastle as a massive platform. So why not? Why not? Um, however, if you if you don't like the shirts and you think, you know what, I'm not buying any of them, it's it's too much money. Um, again, you've got you can get your classic shirts all over the place. There's plenty about. Uh, obviously, we, we are in partnership with um, Three Retro. So if you want to get a classic shirt, uh, you can get 10% off any shirt by placing the code TAKE, which is T-A-K-E, -E, Tango Alpha Kilo Echo 10, TAKE 10. And you can get 10% off any of your order. And there's loads of stuff that are on 3 Retro. Um, they always have new merch in. So they've got classics that are in there. They do all sorts from England, as you can probably see. Other clubs across the world, uh, Premier League, International. You know, you can personalize them. England, loads of um, quality stuff. I've got tons and tons um, of uh, classic uh, three retro stuff. So if you want to get some of them, you know, why not? Why not indeed? Uh, oh, let me just fix that because I don't like that. Actually, speaking of that, you know what? I've got some down here, actually. There we go. Let me have a look. The Kewins, the Boo Nail. Got that. So these are all from three rep when I've got tons to make the messy. I've got loads of England ones as well. Um, so have a look at that if you uh, if you don't want to get the kits and it's too much. Go on, just get to buy yourself a rep for the season. I've, I've been doing that last couple of years. Um, but yeah, that is it. Let us know what you think. Harry, thank you very much for coming on tonight. Um, if you can smash that like as we pray that England come home with the football and my right football is coming home. Um, so thank you very much. Please smash that like. We are going to be back after England. Please. Uh, that would be lovely if we can do a... If England win, we're just throwing a virtual party. Everybody just come on and we'll talk about the Euros, the England, 
Uh, if we've won the celebrations, it's free for all tomorrow night. If we get beat, uh, it will literally just be a reaction to the game and scoring the playoffs. That's it. But if we win, it's literally a virtual party. So come on involved after 10 p.m. tomorrow night and we'll see if the Italians or hopefully the English, because no one wants the English to win. Uh, I've seen that all over social media. The whole of Europe wants the Italians to win. But hey ho, it's probably because we left the EU. But anyways, we'll not get political. Uh, me and Harry are off. Have a good night, everyone. Watch what it is, Dean.